Joining me today from across the pond, instant New York Times and Sunday Times bestselling author of Behind Her Eyes and internationally bestselling author of more than 25 no novels, various genres. She's also a screenwriter and a dog mama to the cutest fur baby, Sarah Pinborough. Welcome to the middle. Thank you very much for having me in these crazy times. Of course. So I absolutely love psychological thrillers. First, tell me about Behind Her Eyes, but don't give away the ending to those who have not yet read it. Okay, Behind Her Eyes is a story of a, an unusual love triangle, really. And it's about the single mother, Louise, who she lives quite a, a quiet life. You know, she's kind of watching her pennies and whatever. And she goes out one night and her friend doesn't turn up and she meets a handsome Scottish man in a bar. And they have a kiss, but it stops there. And she's kind of like, okay, that's, you know, doesn't, doesn't even know his name. Um, and then she turns up at work to find out he's her new boss. And then she also becomes friends with his wife, uh, which becomes a kind of secret friendship. And she says so she ends up in a kind of dynamic with both of them. And she starts to think there's something very wrong between them, but, but which one is, is the very wrong one. So it's, it is, and I kind of, in my mind, it's kind of, I mean, obviously not in their standard, but it's kind of Hitchcock Polanski-esque. It's quite arch. It's quite fun. You know, it's, it's a little tongue in cheek in places, but very dark. So, I, you know, it was, it was fun to write sort of two very interesting women. And I, I love a book that flip flops like that. So you get both of their perspectives, which is, mm. which is really cool. Now, um, when you are writing a psychological thriller like this, do you have the ending set? before you start or do you figure it out as you go? Oh God, no. I mean, every book, I have to have the ending. I have to see the final scene before I can start the book. And I've often okay. stopped at like 20,000 words and thought this last bit isn't working. But with Behind Her Eyes in particular, it was unusual because I was contracted with two other publishers at the time and I still owed two books to other publishers. And my HarperCollins UK editor now, she came to me, at, we were at an event and we were at the bar and she was like, we want to publish you, pitch us something. So it was quite high pressure. I had to come up with this idea. And I remember <laughs> I, just, I just couldn't come up with anything. So I went to a bar and got a glass of wine and thought, this is my career over. Um, and I thought, I want to write about an affair. And then I got the ending just, I don't know how, it just came in my head. And I thought, oh, okay, that would be quite weird. So yeah, so, yeah, I have to have the ending. Because I think especially with the thriller, you have to know where you are going to. And, you know, what and that's what I would think too. And I'm asking because I recently spoke with, do you know Mark Edwards? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So I recently spoke with him and he said he has no idea going into He's a it. psychopath, Ashley. <laughs> Only a psychopath writes without panic. But yeah, there is this whole, but, but I think the difference is the people, it's the same process. The people who do it that way probably do more drafts. Right. You know, I know a lot of people who don't plan, but they knock out the first draft in a month, which tells them everything that's wrong with it. Right. And then they amend. I mean, maybe not Mark. I'll have to ask him. And if he says he only does one draft, I am going to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's, you know, planners tend to do fewer drafts, but take longer. Right, that there. makes sense. Yeah. Okay, so the adaptation is coming to Netflix soon. So yeah. what can viewers anticipate? What can you tell us? Um, well, you know, Netflix are kind of, they keep, they keep you on a tight leash on what you can say. However, sure. I have seen it. So they sent me a link. I was a little worried about watching it because I thought, oh God, if this is bad, that's going to finish my year off, you know, because I'm going right. to have to psych myself up. But I loved it. And it was, they've really, I mean, they're very beautiful people. They're all very beautiful people, but they've really captured the tone of it. It's got a great, I mean, the soundtrack is amazing. It's stylish. It's really gone with that kind of Polanski Hitchcock vibe. Um, and it is going to be, to me, I think it's going to be like the book. And I had a conversation with the producer when I'd watched it. And I said, it's going to be like the book. There's going to be people, it's going to be one or five stars. You know, people are either going to love it or they're going to hate it. It's one of okay. those kind of Marmite, as we call it in England moments. And she was like, oh, I, I'm not sure I can cope with people hating it. I said, no, no, it's good. It's good because it means they're having a reaction. But I And think it's a passionate, yes. Yeah, so you want that passion. Yeah. But I do think there'll be people that... <laughs> obviously I will you know will not have read the book or know anything about it and they'll start watching and they'll think oh I'm just watching this and then about episode halfway through episode two they're going to be going what and then by episode right. three they but I, when it got to the ending which I think is a real testament to the actors and the team 
I watched it and I went to bed and I was quite disturbed and I kept thinking about it and I thought I made this up and I'm thinking about it so they've done it really well you know and the cast are all so amazing well I'm just gonna let Myla say hi um and you have your fur baby not far away we have to fast asleep but anyway everybody needs to follow you on Instagram because you post the cutest pictures of him and before you get a dog it's always like (laughs) <laughs> and then the minute I get a dog, it's like, Ted, 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 Ted. Right. <laughs> so, now, before I let you, you have a couple other adaptations in the works, right? Yeah. Well, I've got um, 13 minutes, which is, I kind of, I mean, some people prefer it to Behind Your Eyes in terms of that psych thriller. And it was, for me, my warm up to Behind Your Eyes. It's, it's a YA, it's a teen novel, but it isn't very teen. You know, there's, there's 16 year olds, a girl, one, a 16 year old is found in the river she's dead for 13 minutes when she wakes up she can't remember the day before and it's unpicking how she ended up in the river and it's very twisty and it's very you know it's very um i based it on a on a real case actually although i changed sort of the 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 dynamics of it but that netflix have had that for a while and i think and josh schwartz has done the who did gossip girl and glee he's done the screenplay so i think it's they've had a few restructures at netflix so i think it's found a new home with them okay. so I think that that I should know about in the next sort of month or so and Dead to Her which is my last novel which is set in Savannah mm-hmm. um, <laughs> basically because I'm very mercenary and I really love Savannah <laughs> and I thought uh-huh. oh, I'm going to book there they might invite me to come do some events and then a pandemic came and obviously there's been <laughs> no events but right. that is um with Topic Studios and Tracy Oliver, who is okay. Tracy White. So she's really, you know, good. And that is being developed with Amazon. So Very yeah. exciting. Um, so lots exciting. to be seen. So lots yeah. of books. And I, I love, I'm always encouraging people to read the books first before they see the adaptation. So there still is time, but thank you for everything that you're putting out there. Now, it, your preference, do you prefer doing psychological thrillers or do you like other genres better? Um, it's, I just like dark, dark, okay. twisty fiction, you know, so at the moment I'm really enjoying psychological thrillers, but I am also, I quite like to have a little bit of weird in there and a bit uh-huh. of something different. So I just like telling stories really. And I quite like horror, but that's more in, in screen. I prefer, you know, okay. if I get a horror idea, I think, oh, I'll try and sell that as a film. Yeah. Love it. Well, everyone needs to follow you. What is your Instagram? So I can put it up on the screen. Uh, Sarah Pinborough Books. I had to think about that for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll make sure it's all right. And then, um, yeah, so Sarah Pinborough, Behind Her Eyes, and many more. Check her out because she's awesome. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you.